Okay. Hi guys. I decided to jump on and show you kind of how I'm doing this mica swirl stuff. Um, I took one of these awesome bottles from Walmart and I taped it off at the bottom and I taped it off at the top and um, spray painted it white. So I'm honestly not sure how it's going to turn out. Um, but when I asked my daughter what kind of bottle she wanted for school, of course she said a rainbow. So um, what I'm going to do is I am going to be doing a rainbow, but I'm going to be doing it with the neons what I have left of them after my three-year-old got him, actually. I got these six colors that we're going to put into a rainbow. However, I'm going to do it as a layering thing. I used to be an art teacher, so I know that if you mix them all together, it's going to turn into, like, grossness and stuff. So I'm going to do warm colors versus cool colors. Um, I'm going to do these three the next round, and I'm going to do these three this round. Um, and all you're going to do... Oh, and also... I'm sorry. I've got to have myself here real quick. Um, I am pulling it up on my iPad too so I can hopefully see comments. Um, hi Jessica. I am also going to be adding in the color shift and shimmer green. Um, I'm going to do the golden blue with my warm colors and I'm going to do the shimmer green with my cool colors today. Um, so pretty much I already have my epoxy going. Um, I mixed it up. It's sitting in front of my little space heater here because um, it is not like a hundred and some degrees in a garage. I'm in my what used to be my dining room in Pennsylvania. So um, pretty much what I have set up is I'm going to do my little swirl thing um, and all you do is you do a layer of epoxy first just nice and clear I'm still stirring it it's kind of cloudy um, I have to put my part a in front of the heater to make it work better because it's really really thick stuff I started working with counterculture um, I really like it but it's not my best friend if it's not preheated um, so I'm just finishing that up and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scoop out some of these to get them mixed. I The one thing that you have to watch with the pigments is that there's little, like, balls in here. Like, you just got to make sure that the balls get crushed and absorbed into your um, epoxy. I haven't had any issues with that on my cups. I've only had issues with it with my um, trays that I make. Um, this is one of the trays I'm working on right now. It's really, really dark, too dark for my liking, but there's like little bumps in here that are actual pigment that never got mixed in. So it, that's my fault. I got to work on that. But, um, so I'm going to work on fixing that today too. And I'm thinking that I'm going to put my, um, mica shimmer in with the white that I'm going to do. I'm just doing a little tiny scoop of each and I... Um, I end up with my goat on my clothes all the time because I wipe off my spoon thingies, my scoopers. I wipe them off on myself. Um, and at this point, if you wanted to make your cup glow or something, you could add a little glow into one of these pigment cup things that I'm mixing up. Um, these are all neon pigments, um, with the exception of this one, the shimmer green. Um, I'm doing this as a layering thing. I'm doing my cool colors first, my uh, purple, my green, my blue. And then I'm going to do my um, my warm colors after this layer of epoxy dries, um, just because I don't want everything to get so muddy. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'm working with green, the neon green, electric blue, and neon purple. And I just said, make sure you mix it really good because sometimes the pigments have little clumps in them. Um, and that's just me being lazy, I guess, or just crappy with my stirring. I don't know. I'm trying this white this white i got it in, like hobby lobby or a craft store or something it's like in the like model car section um this is what i use for all my white i just do a little tiny bit in here and then it really stinks i don't know what it's actually made of but this is just what i do for my whites um and then of course we have our epoxy and it's looking nicer now it's not as cloudy i'm gonna give it another good stir and then i'm gonna coat my cup and then we're gonna get to work on this um so like I said, you want it to move. Um, everybody like does their little hashtag whatever method. This is like the funnest method I can think of. You want it to melt a little, but you don't want it to like be dripping off your cup. I can't stand when I have epoxy that drips off my cup because that's like a huge waste in my world. Because that could be used on magnets or something wonderful. <laughs> so I try to just do a nice thin layer. And this bottle is a pain in the tush because I didn't have a football or anything that fits into the opening. So I just shoved a PVC in there and electrical taped the crap out of it, and then I spray painted it. So, um, I am anxious to see how this turns out, and if it's a total bust, then okay, but at least we tried. Um, but of course, 
my eight-year-old decided she wanted a rainbow bottle. So we're going to make it happen because why not? So you just do a nice thin coat of your epoxy. We're going to peel the electrical tape off the bottom then because this is one of those uh, Walmart cups that was like 98 cents. I'm pretty sure my kid will break it at some point. It's just a matter of how long. Um, so I'm just going to go right into mixing it. At this point, you don't really need your gloves because you're not going to be touching it. Um, I keep one on just because my cup always gets messy, but you just add just the tiniest amount into these cups that you have already divvied out some mica or pigments in. Sometimes when I'm working with the pigments and I want them to be sparkly, I kind of mix stuff together and mix and match it all. And if you find that when you are mixing these together and it's not coming out as much as you would like or as deep of color, then you just go back in and add a little bit more mica. Sorry if I'm blocking things. This is my white. You can see the, the color shift in there a little bit, but not too much. So I might do a separate one for the color shift. This is the green. Again, if you're using the pigments, make sure you stir it and mix it really good because I apparently don't all the time. But like I said, I haven't had any issues on my cups. It's just when I do these trays that it really shows. And we just mix, mix, mix. Sorry, my hands kind of block in the way. Um, and then all you're gonna do is start like you're doing a marble. I take my popsicle stick and I drag it upward. And if I know I'm missing like at the top, I just add it in. Okay, and then we go into green. I just do the white um, because I feel like it breaks it up a little bit more. It gives it more dimension, smokiness, marbliness, whatever you want to call it. And I just kind of do little drag marks with my popsicle stick. I'm not sure if the green and purple is going to like work with me here or not. We'll find out. It's okay if you get messy with it too. Oh, now I can see some of that makeup coming through. So you literally just slap it all on your cup. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my heat gun to it. It's gonna take a little bit, and I don't wanna go too crazy because, yes, this is a plastic bottle underneath. And I don't wanna find out what happens when I melt it all. I also don't wanna go too crazy with my colors because I know that I'm going to be doing another layer in there too. Um, but by using the white paint, you might get some of those cells that everybody goes crazy for. I'm not touching the cup right now. I was touching it with my popsicle stick. The only time I touched it prior to that was um, to put my epoxy on. And once you see it's starting to move, like in certain areas where there's a lot and it's starting to move more, um, I'm gonna kind of stay away from that area and hit like at the bottom a little bit or up here at the top where it's kind of more um, potent as far as the color goes because I want it to like thin out a little bit and make the swirly thing happen. And right now, I don't like that we have the negative space going on, but that's okay, because we're going to fix that. So, I'm going to go back in. I'm trying to think which one I want to do more. I'll do some green here. But you don't want to, like, cook it too much with your heat gun, because at this point, I'm not running my popsicle stick over it. I'm just dragging it lightly at the top, um, just because when you hit it with the heat, if you hit it too much, it'll start to harden. Um, the other thing that I have a tendency of doing is sometimes you might need to reverse it. So, I mean, I'm sure there's a nicer way to do it to your turner, but I don't. I just go for it. So I'm going to go back and add some more purple where I want more purple. And maybe add in some more white. I apologize in advance. It sounds like Blaze is about to get vocal. Maybe not. And just add in some more white, break it up a little bit. 
and give it more swirlies. I kind of consider this like melting the marble. Sure thing, Jessica. I can come on and do another, the, the second round of it when I get there, but it won't be until probably either later tonight or tomorrow. It all depends on kids and cups. But this is all you do if you're not liking how it's going one way. Um, I sometimes pop it off of my turner and let it drip upside down or whichever way I want it to move um, so that it's moving a little bit more the direction that I want and not all like getting gobbed up in one area. If you're hitting your heat too much in one area, then back off. And I think I'm just going to kind of let that spin for now. Um, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. Maybe I'll add more blue because it's starting to get thinned out. But pretty much you just keep going in until you like what you like and like what you have going. You just got to watch how much you cook it with your heat gun. And I don't know, I'm kind of obsessed with adding the white in just because I like the different effects that we get from that. And then that's pretty much it. You just let it spin until it's dry. And if you need to, you can layer up other colors. I'll just go straight in for a decal. And then since I already have this all mixed up, I'll either, I'll probably add the, it's this tray here. So I can help that out too. Um, but that's pretty much my technique for getting the swirliness going. Um, just heat, pigment, like a, and epoxy. So um, I'm going to jump off of here and finish this before my epoxy gets all hard on me. But please feel free to ask any questions. Give it a go, give it a go try it out. And let me know if you come up with anything else that works for you. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so I am super excited. I just got some mica mail yesterday. Um, and I am going to show you what some of it is. This is a standard 98 cent bottle from Walmart. Um, they, hold on. They are these guys um, with the stainless steel bottom and top. I just taped off my bottom and then taped it to a PVC pipe and um, spray painted it black. Now this is plastic, so you have to watch how much heat you actually use. Um, but I just go through and do, well, my epoxy's starting to thicken up. That'll be okay. We're gonna get a little bit on here. And I have the Violet Pearl, Seashell Love, Green Pearl, and I'm working with the Violet Glow today um, for these four colors. I'm gonna just hit this with my heat gun so that it gets a little bit warmed up and moves better for me so I can finish mixing this up all up because I don't want to have that much epoxy on here. I want it mostly for my cup my little cups that I'm mixing here. Just spread this out a little bit. Okay. And these are just going to be bottles for my kids. I guarantee they're going to break them at some point. But I'm just testing it out to see how long they last. And they're going to be pretty. So, um, give me a second here. Okay, so at this point, you don't need your glove. You can get rid of it. Um, because you're just going to be putting epoxy in with your mica. I just did a little tiny scoop of each. And all we do is just mix it. Do you know where the paper starts? Hi, Libby. I'm on a video. What do you need, honey? Paper? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, there is paper by the printer. Or there might be paper in the living room. I don't know. So pretty much you mix it up.
And you just do a little bit of epoxy in the bottom. And just one little scoop of your mica. And then all we do, sorry, my epoxy's getting a little, a little stringy. All you do is just drag it. This is the violet. And it looks really cool. I believe the violet and the green look super cool and shimmery on a black base. They will do the same thing on a white base too. And I'm not quite sure what the other one's asking me for now. So all we do is just drag your popsicle stick along. And this is the green goldish color. What do you need, like? Yes, I do. <laughs> Look for a different time. That's address levels, baby. And then this is the violet glow. I'm just gonna add a little in. Just here, there, and everywhere. And then, oh, I got the seashell love. I believe that's what that is. Yeah, the seashell love yet. And then I also add in, this is just what I've been doing lately for my mica swirls. It's kind of almost like a uh, marble melting. Like, this is pretty much the same concept you do for marbling, but you don't want it to, uh, you want it to melt together more so than what it would for the marbling. And what I've been doing is I have this white that I've been using. I added into my epoxy just a little bit. And then that gives it kind of more of a little smoky look when it starts to happen. And again, this is plastic, so I don't want to go too crazy with my heat gun. But at the same time, I need it to kind of blend it together a little bit. So you just smear it all on, drag your stick across, do whatever you got to do. back and forth, nice and even, until it starts moving on you, and then when it moves, you're going to want to hit, hit these darker areas that have more built up, because it will move it quicker. I'm really liking how this is turning out. I think the black face is a really good choice. And Blaze is yelling about something. What's up, Peanut? Aw, oh, the, the kitty ran away. He didn't really run away. He just got out of her area because she's free. So it's just now starting to move. Like in this really stuff going on. The seashell love is like this really pretty silvery color, and the violet pearl and the green pearl are like super super pretty on a black face. And then at this point, if you wanted to, you could go back in and add some more in some areas. But that's pretty much it. And I'm noticing I might have melted my cup. <laughs> Good thing these are the kick cups. So, and that they're only 98 cents. But in the meantime, I really, really like how the swirl is coming out. So it doesn't really matter. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And I will show you what it looks like in a sec.